thank you, Bruce, for having me. And I want to say hail to the Redskins. Right. It's been two long years that I can celebrate a Cowboys win, so I'm happy for that. Was it an ugly win? Yes, but I will absolutely take it. I think the team is trending in the right direction. The offense has a long way to go, but that defense is playing pretty good. Let's talk, talk about the defense. I mean, we, we, we had incredible pressure on the uh, uh, quarterback. Uh, God, shut down their running game, right? Scored a touchdown. Defense, you like you like where they are. Yeah, let's face it. I mean, last two years they couldn't bust a grape, right? I mean, the run the run defense was just not there. Secondary has right. been improving. That front four is playing lights out. I'm really impressed. Zach Brown killing it. You know, Swearinger in the secondary can't go wrong. Right, those Alabama boys, pretty good draft. Those picks, Bama right? boys were huge, and they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with for the next 12 years. Yeah, let's let's talk about the offense though. You got some concerns there. Yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with how AP has been playing. I mean, I was one of the doubters. You can go to my Facebook page, and I kind of bashed him. <laughs> but he's really impressed me. He's playing like a beast, and I'm just really proud and happy for that. But Alex Smith, yeah, it's just not vibing and gelling right now. Yeah, and is that Alex Smith, or is that the fact that he hasn't played with the – well, he didn't play with the starters all during preseason, and he hasn't had them all on the field at the same time so far. What do you I think? mean, that's true, but, I mean, he has a reputation of being the check down king, and that's what he's doing here, playing underneath. Um, it's just not there for me. I hope he improves. I mean, that offensive line is improving every day, and they're looking really great. So, I mean – we can only hope we can trend up from there. Alex Smith missed some throws yesterday. Absolutely. He missed a touchdown. To yes. Tight end. I mean, some of them were a lot of overthrows. That was really disappointing. Um, some were spot on with like sprinkle dropped it. I mean, yeah. it's just it just depends. I think the offense, once we have more cohesiveness, I think we could really start to do some damage. Um, I follow you on Facebook like a lot of people. Do. You're not a Jay Gruden a fan, are you? I can't stand him. <laughs> Sorry. That's um, okay. I mean, What's wrong with Jay Gruden? Um, I just think his play calling is terrible. I think he's a bad clock manager. Um, I don't really think he's a good leader for our team. I mean, I really want a coach who's just going to be a spitfire in there, getting in people's faces, demanding and commanding better out of that team. And I just don't find it from him. I but, think he plays conservatively. I think he plays not to lose, not to win. And well, uh, case in point, this game we get the ball back, you know, eat up some clock. What does he do? Uh, first two downs, he runs Peterson. Everybody in the stadium and on TV knows he's going to run Peterson. Dallas stops the run. And then third down, you got to throw the ball. Everybody knows he's going to throw yeah, the ball. Yeah, I mean, the play calling is completely predictable. Um, I mean, he never mixes it up. Uh, it's just really frustrating to me to say. You think we uh, uh, kept the wrong guy when we let uh, his offensive coordinator go to L.A.? Um, yes and no. I mean, I think... Uh, McVay has the right fit where he is in the Rams. I mean, look at it. He is like an, a great quarterback. He has an amazing defense. He has an all-star running back. He's like, you know, it's just a team set up for him. I don't know. I mean, in Washington, you just have to kind of be the right fit, and right. it just depends. All right, so they're four and two. Uh, are we a good team? Are we a playoff team? Or smoke and mirrors? I mean, one? it's our division to lose. I mean, you look at Dallas and they're inconsistent. Um, you look at the Eagles and they just do not look the same as last year. Uh, the Giants are a non-factor. Um, I think we can get there. I think right now we're not because, I, like I said, the offense just still has to come a long way. Um, but that defense is holding us in there. And once we just get that offensive unit together, I think we could we could be a threat. You know how many times you say we? Is <laughs> we as in me, my team, and I'm a fan. So. The, old Glenn Brenner, the old Glenn Brenner used to say to me when I say we, he says we. How many touchdowns did you score? <laughs> well, exactly. I mean, we're part, like the fans are part of, you know, the football right. team. And we're supposed to be the ones encouraging them and, and really making sure they're successful. So, yeah. Yeah, you're excellent. Uh, number 80, whose jersey is that? That's Crowder, and that's my favorite slot receiver. And he's hurt now, but he's going to come back and do some damage. He's like been AWOL this season. He hasn't done anything. Yeah, because he's been hurt a little bit. And they're, they're still trying to figure it out again. I mean, they have a new quarterback. Um, the quarterback's learning the new system. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, the offense has a lot of gelling to do, a lot of growing pains, and it's been a little bit of heartburn right now, but I think they can find a way. All right, I told you she knew her style, Brittany Donald. Okay, back in a minute. Stay with us. WUSA 9 Weather is sponsored by the National Law Enforcement Museum. Will and Jada Smith's marriage secrets revealed. You know why I've never got divorced? Then, how excited are you for the games? Very excited. Our weekend with Harry and Megan. Next ET. Tonight at 7.30 on WUSA 9. That's my jam. Turn it up. My, 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 my,